Hello everyone, this is Dell Optiplex Small Factor Desktop PC 7090. Such a great machine, but recently we got some problem. What happened? When you plug in the cable, it does make kind of a beep noise, like beep, and then the fan starts spinning and turn off. Beep again, fan starts spinning, turn off. So what I'm gonna do, first I'm gonna show you, and you will see the problem yourself and then we'll find the solution but overall in a single word this is the power issue let's see see what would be the problem do you think guys so now what i'm focusing is on the power supply because this is power related issue second one could be the overheating so now what I'm going to do first I'm not going to focus into the power supply because if there is no power how come it does turn on for a second and turn off so my first focus on the processor and we'll take out the fan we'll check what is the condition in there if you find any sort of sign that the computer went to overheating then that's the main reason so now I do have some thermal paste and this screwdriver to open up the heat sink and then we'll check so let's start so first let's take out the dvd drive optical disk drive hard drive cmos battery and then heat sink after that we'll apply some thermal paste and this one does have ssd instead of 3.5 inch SATA hard drive to make it faster ram sticks are absolutely fine there is no issue i don't see anything cmos battery already out and we're gonna connect the plus and minus just to reset it and when you open up make sure you open up in the crossway you know the four screws from here what I can see if I focus the camera <laughs> the thermal paste is completely dried out it turns into rock as you can see this is completely completely solid rock which is the main reason why it does behave like that even on top of the processor as you can see this is completely dried out that's so terrible so now what we're going to do we're going to clean this surface and we're going to wipe out the processor and we'll reply okay so let's put the battery back in because there is no any issue and let's clean this up and see what happens So I'm going to use kind of rubbing alcohol to clean it and the plastic card because this is super super rocky as you can see I'm struggling and the plastic card does work like a razor blade to clean this up and now wipe this off with a kind of blue rule any damp cloth or if you don't have anything like me and you can use the tissue paper okay respray again and this is the one 99.99 percent rubbing alcohol which is brilliant to clean the PCB and the heat sink and stuff like that so now this is absolutely fine we're gonna uh, reapply the stuff and should be fine there are a little spot of uh, dirt so we're gonna rub it like that This is called Arctic Silver 5. So let's put in the center. Okay. And when you're gonna close the actual uh, heat sink, I mean the four screw, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna close it, screw it across from one corner to another corner because four screws, if you just tight one screw at a time, then it might damage the actual board if not damaged then it's going to make it very weak so i'm going to show you how to do that so once it's seated properly then take the screwdriver and do one by one like this this is one and then comes from there to here this side so now let's connect the power cord and see what happened 
So as you can see, the actual fan is spinning all right. The speed is fine. There is not big noise. This is not keep restarting. So now, finally, we're gonna close this back and connect into the display just to see if there's any picture or anything. All right, so the power button is fine. It's quite stable. Hard drive indicator also flashing, as you can see. Now let's get into the screen. Look, everything is absolutely fine. It did boot up properly. So we could say the actual problem was the heat sink. When there was no thermal paste, the system was confused about, about the heating. And for safety reason, it used to shut down and restart randomly. And the power supply is fine. As you can see the green light, okay? So there is only one reason for this problem behind, which is the overheating issue. So hope you did like this video. Still, if you do have any question, make sure you leave it in the comment section and I will see you in the next video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.